Okay, so for this week, we'll be working on improving our logic and improving our string skills. So we have done very little string techniques so far. So the one of the ways that I like to learn strings is by doing uh, the website Coding Bat. So if you will Google coding and then B-A-T like the animal. And you'll come to this. Now, when I have people do this, one of the things that they mess up on is that this is a pretty simple website. It's a great website, but um, they have nice help and they have code help videos and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, but one of the things that students forget is that it, it, it logs you out pretty quickly. If you, like you, when you come back later, you won't be logged in. And yet it lets you code without logging in, but you won't save anything. So you have to go to create account, okay? And when you create the account, you use your email and just let's all use our regular email that so from our school, that would be good, okay? Um And then what I want you to do after you create an account is you're going to when you log in, you're going to teach your share with me. Yes. You make up your own. All right. So you can see, you know, I have my own account here. And, and I can go to report and I and I can get different people here. You see, some of you already have an account, I think, because you've done this before. Um, because I think we did this some with Python. But if you have to make a different one, that's fine. Um, so under prefs, you can see that you can... You have a memo, and I want you to put your name in here, okay? Therefore, I can see your name. Otherwise, it's just an email. And then when you share, you need to type in my name like this, jwilshire.acisd.org. And that's the teacher account I want you to share with me, okay? And what we'll be working on today are the string one problems. These are basic string problems that require sometimes ifs, but not loops. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to work the first few problems together. So let's start with hello name. Um, now you can see I've already got my... So with this problem here, it says given a name, for example, Bob, return a greeting of the form hello Bob. So the way these problems are worked written we'll be writing instance methods okay uh, occasionally the harder problems you can write multiple methods but for these we're just going to be doing one single method you'll notice that the method is public string hello name so we have to return we won't be printing we'll be returning so we're simply going to return hello with a space Let's see if i can't zoom in a little bit here And then we'll say plus name, but the name is not in quotes. And then notice that we have to have an exclamation mark when we're done. So I'll have to add again an exclamation mark. Okay. And then you press the go, and you'll see that they're gonna they're gonna call your your method with several different ideas, and make sure. Uh, that your code works for all these different tests, okay? If it doesn't work, then um, you'll see which one it failed, okay? Because sometimes there's some special cases. Oh, I can change my font size like that. That's better. I don't have to zoom in so much. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do the next problem. So after you've completed that problem, you're going to click Next button. And this says, make A, B, B, A. So it says, given two strings, A and B, return the result of putting them together in order, A, B, B, A. 
So if they say hi, bye, you're supposed to do hi, bye, bye, hi. So we're making an ABBA pattern. So we're going to return A plus B plus B plus A. And you can see that that works. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so for the the next one, you have to make tags by adding these things. These are HTML tags. So you put this word and you put these tags around it, okay? I'll leave that one to you. All right, and on the next one here, this is make out word. So given an out string and a word, return a new string where the word is in the middle of the out string. For example, like that. Now we finally get to our problems where we're going to be using the substring. We're going to use substring i to j to extract the starting string, the string starting at index i and going up to but not including index j. So that is how we get parts of a word in Java. All right, so let's talk about how we would do this. We, as you can see, we're supposed to take this here, which is a string of length four, and we're supposed to put this string inside it. So we have to get the first two indices of this word. This character is index zero. This character is index zero. That's index one. That's index two. And that's index three. So we're going to return out, but not the full out, just a substring from index 0 up to index 2, but not including it. Notice that this is 2 is 2 away from 0. That indicates we'll be getting the first two letters. So it'll get index 0, it'll get index 1, but won't take index 2. Just like most things in Java, it's up to, but not including that. We're then going to put the word inside there. So we'll add the word. Now we need to take the rest of the word. Now, I'm going to show three ways to do it with what I consider to be increasing sophistication. I can say out dot substring. And I could take index 2 up to but not including 4 because they told me the string would have four letters. But that is that is uh, not necessary. In fact, it's better since if we don't know the length of the string to just put out dot length of the string. Length is a method that returns the length of the string. Lastly, I'm going to do this instead. If you call substring with just one number, it will start at that index and automatically go to the end of the word. So that's actually all I need. So from index 0 up through but not including 2, then the word, then the index 2 to the end. And you can see our results. So your goal is to complete the string problems. Let's take a look at one of the harder ones. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end. Well, run it again. Okay, so what I'd like you now to do is to click on the uh, function uh, has bad, I think will be the one that I want you to do. Let's see, int twice, is that? Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, let's do has bad. So if for has bad, we're given a string and we want to return true if bad appears starting at index 0 or 1 in the string, such as bad xxx or xbad xx, but not xxbad 
xx. So there's lots of different ways that we could do this. But we could say if str dot substring 0 to 3, that's the first three letters. Now we can't say this. That's not allowed in Java because we cannot compare objects with equals equals. And strings are objects. So we have to say dot equals. We use dot equals for objects. We only use equals equals for things like booleans or ints. Okay? So we can say this and we can say return true. Then we can add another line and say else if str.substring 1 to 4 dot equals bad. We can say return true. Then we can say else return false. But there's an issue here. What if our string is not uh, that long? Because it says the string may be any length, including zero. So we need to do some, some work here, because if our length of if our string is only one character long, we're supposed to return false. But this would get an error. So what we need to do is we need to say str.length is greater than or equal to 3, and. Now, this is what's going to happen. It will check this first. If that is not true, it will not check this. Because Java does not check both if the first statement in an and is false. If that's false, since false and anything is false, it will stop. Likewise, down here, we need to say str.length greater than or equal to 4 and. So now that should work. And we passed all of our tests. Okay? So what I'd like you to do is to complete the string exercises and when... And for completing them, we'll be worth uh, bonus points. So get it done.